I am happy to report that we finished successfully finished another day in the boatyard. <laughs> it's been a week now. Um, we, uh, and we are making good progress, although it has been so windy these past days and that was very annoying. And uh, yeah, it made working on the outside of the boat a little bit more tricky. But tomorrow it should be calm again for a few days at least. And then it will be much easier again to work on the outside of the boat. Nonetheless, the guys from the boatyard started to fill in the holes in the boat today, which is really cool. So we no longer have four holes in the boat now. <laughs> so the outside is nearly done and tomorrow they will start on the inside. And yeah, then it will be a crazy day inside of the boat and we will have to put up a plastic tent. But yeah, for today we are done and we are happy that we have gotten so far and that we no longer have holes in the boat. <laughs> So the four holes in the boat. I thought about uh, fixing them myself. I watched some YouTube videos um, explaining how to do it. But in the end I got cold feet and we decided to hire someone from the boatyard to do the job. So um, Davide from the boatyard, he did a really good job. And basically what he did or, or how to fix holes in a fiberglass hull is to grind out an area in a ratio of 1 to 12. Um, whereas one is the thickness of the hull and you grind out an area 12 times or 10 to 12 times that uh, and in a way so that the, the th around the hole there's a thin edge and then it's slanted outwards and until you come out to the thickness of the hull so it's it, it, you end up with an hourglass shape because you do the same thing from the inside as well what you achieve with this is you create, um, when you fill it up with epoxy and fiberglass, you create a, a, a plug from the outside and the inside. The, the process is, itself is, I think, not too complicated. It's just getting the materials and, and getting the right materials and, and preparing the surface. And so I think there is specific knowledge needed to, to do something like that um, because you don't want to just fix some holes in your boat and hope that it that it, you've done it right because if you didn't do it right that would suck um so back to the process what davide did is you you cut out different sized pieces out of fiberglass cloth starting with the smallest diameter um, just the size of the hole and then you get bigger and bigger until you reach the, the full size of the grinded out area. And what that will do is you get this, the basically the, the, the negative shape of the grind you did before and you end up with a fiberglass cloth that is flush to the hull. Uh, yeah, and then when that is, when, when, when the fiberglass hardens, uh, the, the epoxy hardens, you do the same from the inside. On the outside, the video applied uh, additional to the to the fiberglass epoxy buildup, um, the gel coat, and on top of that, um, to make the hull watertight. Not just um, closing up the hole. What I mean with watertight is so the, there is no water going in the layers. So you basically osmosis prevention. Apply an additional um, epoxy sealant layer, and on top of that, um, it's basically ready to apply the anti-fouling and then you're done. Uh, the inside uh, it's the same process building up the, the fiberglass resin layers on the inside the, to, to make it look pretty it got painted with bilge paint. You don't need the 
you need the osmosis treatment on the inside, obviously, as long as your bilge is always dry, what you should aim for. Okay, um, I guess there will be pictures and my text will be under those images or video clips. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a comment for the editor, <laughs> not you, the viewers. After the holes got fixed, Max and I were able to drill the new through holes that we told you about in our last video, starting with the one for the seacock in our sailboat's head. In order to get a clean edge around the hole and to prevent the edges from splitting, Max drilled from both the inside and the outside of the boat. The past few days we have been busy. We have been, first we have uh, put the seacock back in and after that I was able to put some bilge paint on the wall in the toilet. And then after that we were able to put the toilet back together. So the head is now finished. So we have a bathroom again. <laughs> and then afterwards Max also prepared the, the outside and the inside for the installation of the traducer. So yeah, and now we can put the traducer back in and then we have a really, really big job finished and then we can move on. And I think the next step then will be to apply the anti-fouling. We drilled another hole in the hull and sealed the fitting for the new instrument with epoxy resin and Zika flex. After the sealant hardens, you can assemble the pieces. The last step was to run and to connect the cables to the NMEA 2000 data bus. Yes!
Max then cleaned up the area around the new instrument where the hardened seeker flex was creating an uneven surface to prepare the hull for the anti-fouling paint job. But more about that in the next video. Thanks for watching guys <laughs> and a big thank you to our Patreons Isa and Antonia from Austria. They are actually from the city where Max and I both grew up and where we met each other all those years ago. So just for a brief while I'm going to switch to Austrian to say Danke euch zwei! <laughs> Vielen lieben Dank für die Unterstützung. Es hilft uns wirklich so sehr, dass ihr einfach Teil dieser Reise seid. Und äh, ja, ich hoffe, wir sehen uns bald. Und liebe Antonia, lass dir das ganze Eis, das jetzt im Sommer von der Mama kriegst, gut schmecken. Ich mag Eiscreme auch sehr gern. <lacht> okay, bis bald, ihr zwei. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, leave us a comment and join us on Patreon if you want to be the first to know about big sailboat refit projects or other adventure plans that we might have in the future. Our patrons usually know about them first. So we post regularly on our Patreon page and we really would love for you to join us. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.